Whoa. It's raining this morning, so I don't know if we'll be going for a walk. So I want to try to remember my dreams. I had a ton of them. The first one, I was in a, like a moving truck and moving something for Angie Campos, I think. But I turned the truck on its side in this muddy, this muddy parking lot. <laughs> and, and the thing inside was wooden and it like fell over. It was a crib or something like that. I don't remember. Next, I was in a wheelchair in traffic. There's this beautiful redhead with me. Very pretty. It might have been Gladriel Steinman. I was naked. And I forget what we were talking about exactly. But she was behind me in the wheelchair pushing me. Then we were inside talking again. And she kind of she kind of had her hands like she was very touchy feely. And I was like, I think we were dating. It was really nice. Then I was at some kind of christening. It was outdoors. It was for my daughter. She was only a baby. I don't have a daughter in real life. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I'm doing this now because it's raining. I don't know if we're going to walk. Um, Charlie Berkner was there. And we were... Gosh, I, I, it's all falling apart because none of these dreams made sense. But he just like grabs my kid with one hand. And puts her like on the ground behind where everybody's sitting. That was what was supposed to happen, I guess. And then the last bit, <clears throat> I was sitting down like, outdoors with, with my old brother word processor. And <clears throat> I was working on a paper for this professor because at the christening earlier he had told me he wanted me to write a paper for the next day. And Whoa, where are you going? <laughs> um, so, I picked, I think, Ben Johnson to write about, or some famous writer. I started writing it, and, and this redhead showed up again. So I walk over to her, and we're staring very close, and she had some kind of presentation. I was like, how's it going? She said, they laughed at me. And I put my hand on the side of her face, and I, I, was, I was trying to comfort her and that's all I remember got to bed about 10 last night and the dogs woke me up at 4 was it 4? the dogs woke me up at some point and we just rolled over and went back to sleep otherwise slept through the night here's the other one this morning are you wet? she hasn't gone out yet it's still raining so we didn't walk it's just kind of sprinkling now but dogs have been fed we're on our way to the dump here we go. Oh, she wants to stick her head out the window too. Let's get that open for her. No more. Hold on. There you go. Yeah, it's raining. It's awful. Bella's in the back, but she's behind me, so I can't get a good picture. <laughs> you sure you do that? There she is. There's my girl. It's starting to come down hard again now, so. The rain has let up, so we're gonna take a short walk. It's still very drippy. I think we're just gonna go once around the inches. Good dogs. Good girls. That's a lot of pee. I don't think Hope likes to go out in the rain, so she hasn't been out much yet this morning. This one I think has. There's some poop right on the walk. I gotta clean that up. They're good girls. Afternoon walk. It's nicer now. It's cool still. I'm very windy. I am very tired. I got a bit of a headache. Um. I did not get much of anything done today. I'm having problems getting remotivated. So I gotta work on that. What's the matter? What you barking at? Oh, let's see what's what's for supper. What's for supper? Oh my goodness. Oh my. Go get him. Go, go, go. Here's my girls. Here's my sleepy girls. Here's my girl. 